Good morning, friends. We're out today. A nice, fine Friday morning in September and looking for some gravel. Got a new bike. I haven't said much about it yet, but I finally got it set up the way I want it to be. So, let me introduce you to my new Linsky GR300. We're out here in Wheeler National Wildlife Preserve. It's one of the coolest areas we have for riding gravel. They recently graded this road. Perfect. Yeah, let's talk about why I went with a Linsky. Linsky is a famed titanium bicycle manufacturer from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Carbon fiber gets a lot of attention and is seen as like the de facto material for a bicycle today. But after watching hundreds of videos of people's experiences at Unbound this year with the mud and the rocks and everything, a lot of bikes got completely trashed. Like, you bought a $5,000 bike, I ruined it, kind of trashed. That's why I decided to go with titanium. You know, it's tough, like steel, light, like carbon and aluminum. It's not tinny at all. And it's like indestructible and it looks sick as hell. I guess I should take these glasses off, huh? Hi everybody, my name's Kyle, and this is my review of the Linsky GR300. You know, I wanted to make this review because when I was looking at gravel bikes, um, I searched YouTube a lot for reviews and I could not really find a good, decent review of this bike. One of the things that makes this bike especially attractive is that it can be highly configured direct from Linsky. They allow you to pick so many things on this bike. But before we get into all that, let's start with the standard options. Standard, you get rack and fender mounts, a carbon fork, and clearance for 45 millimeter tires. Hydraulic disc brakes. The bike does come standard with Vision wheels and Kenda tires. And some of the custom options include stuff like handlebars. You can get flared handlebars or not. They have an adventure fork option that comes with bosses already on there in case you want to go bike pack. There are multiple options for drivetrain, including 1x, 2x, Shimano, and SRAM. I went with the SRAM Rival 1x setup. Do you have options for internal versus external cable routing? I went with external um, just because. There are some things that I did add to this bike that did not come straight from the factory, including this Canyon seat post. There are several options you have when it comes to a gravel bike seat post. The Ergon and the Canyon specifically have this leaf spring design and others like Redshift have a more uh, spring lever type design. I did go with the Redshift stem. Everyone swears by this stem, everyone. I went with the standard model. The Pro model was a little bit too pricey for me. I could have saved some weight with the Pro model, but I decided the standard would probably be okay enough for me. And I did replace the standard Linsky saddle with this Pro Logo Kappa Space model that I've put thousands of miles on. Um, yeah. My butt's just used to this one, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Now, I gotta be honest, this is my first titanium bike, so I don't really have a whole lot to compare it to other than aluminum and carbon fiber. One of the things I was worried about titanium was I, I thought that maybe it would have this like really tinny kind of vibration. You know, like, I don't know if you've ever tried to go gravel riding on aluminum, but sometimes it can kind of be, um, I don't know, the vibrations can get to you. What I can tell you is that the ride quality is pretty awesome, especially with these 40 millimeter tires. I went ahead and had my local bike shop set these up tubeless for me because they didn't come tubeless out of the box. But there is a special comment field when you order this bike, and I'm sure if you wrote in there that you'd like them to set it up tubeless, they would do that for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could do me a favor, please subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps me a lot. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me quite a bit. Okay, that's my video for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.